verse 5 and 6. Do you have to say amen? Yeah. Here Paul is being accused. Maybe we'll start in the first place. Paul is being accused. Now you can understand this. Paul was persecuted for life. Yeah. Paul was persecuted for preaching in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. And the Jews all believed and in the East that they said they were keeping Moses' law, but they were not. Because if Moses got the law from God, is that right? Yeah. Amen. So if Moses was of God and they believed Moses, why were they not believing Jesus? Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. But, amen, they didn't want Jesus. They just didn't want him. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But, amen. Praise God. They claimed to keep the law. Yeah. Amen. But they never saw a man move like Jesus. Amen. They never saw him move. Nobody worked a miracle like Jesus. Amen. And no man did the things that he did. Praise the Lord. Amen. But, praise God. Amen. They wanted to call him A. Louis G. O. D. But, amen, he would not stand for that. Because he was the son of Captain G. O. D. But let's look at the word here. Why he been pressed. And after five days and a night, the high priest descended with the elders and with a certain orator named Tertullian. Who informed the government against Paul? You see what I mean? Yeah. Against Paul. They informed, he informed the government against Paul. And as Jesus said in the word, either you're for me or you're against me. Yeah. And they hear they against Paul. Praise God. And when he was called forth, Tertullius began to accuse him, saying, Seeing that by thee we enjoy great quantities, and that very worthy deeds are done unto this nation by thy providence, other than speaking flattery with us. Amen. Praise God. Great quiet. Other than accused Paul, he is the one stirring up to us. He's the one stirring. They enjoy great quiet. We accept it always and in all places. Most noble Felix, with all thanks for this. With all thanks for this. Amen. Now, Felix was the Roman governor. And seeing the fellow, I can get the favor of him. We can captivate Paul. Understand what I'm saying? Praise God. And if, people, if, if people can get a little group of people, a fight against you, a fight against me, a fight against me, they think it's you. But with Jesus, we have more than them. You don't have to have one person standing on your side. But as long as you got Jesus, you're one. You're going to come out of one. Praise the Lord. Amen. So it says, praise God, verse 3, we accept it always and in all places, most noble things with all thanks. Thank you. So what they're doing, trying to bust a flag and then feast. Praise God. Amen. The devil. And in other words, but the end result is all going to be that he be turned against Paul also. Notwithstanding that I be not further tedious unto thee, I pray thee that thou wouldest hear us of thy clemency a few words. We, for we have found this man a captain. Oh, he's a pain in the neck. He's a pet. He's a troublemaker. Talking about the apostle Paul. The Bible says, Beware when all men speak well. Some of the people you think are your lovable friends, they'll cut you down. Praise God. Amen. For we have found this man a pestilent self and a move of opposition, our hearsay, among all the Jews throughout the world. This is He's a problem to all the Jews throughout the world. A ringleader of the sect of the Nazareth. Because that's where Jesus came from. Is that right? Yeah. Jesus was a Nazarene. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Who also have gone about to profane the temple whom we took and would have judged according to our law. But the chief captain, praise God, lied him as came upon us and was great by took him away out of our hands. Others said, just let me have Just let me have Now, one thing you got to remember this. When we get saved, is this? Now I'm saved. No more trouble. No more trouble. 
But do you realize when we come to Jesus and be saved, we stand in the place of our sin? Some had big sin, some had long sin, some had that much. It's all And Paul spoke in the word that he persecuted the church. He did some very things. He persecuted the church. Why he did sin? But now, and I can't go into all the scriptures, but now that he's saved, he's preaching Jesus. He's saying he's saved. He's Lord. Amen. Praise God. And God used the apostle Paul to work in the mirror. But people didn't like Paul. Amen. But don't you know, before Paul was saved, he had a cahoot of people following him to persecute and kill the saints. You gotta understand that. Amen, friend. And when you live for Jesus, you're not going to be popular. You're not going to have a lot of people. Even people that you thought were with you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So therefore, praise God. Amen. They are persecuting Paul for the cause of Jesus Christ. Nowhere in the world. He was the greatest of missionaries other than Jesus Christ. But he suffered more than any other other than Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. Bless God. So therefore, praise God. Amen. Paul is going through some things. Now let's look. Amen. At Acts 23. Verse 42. My story of Paul. Paul was not ashamed to testify of how he got saved. He was, not, he was not ashamed to tell the things he went through with, the things he did before he got saved. He let the people know. In other words, now I'm saved now. I used to be I used to persecute Jesus Christ. I used to. Well, how do you persecute Jesus? To persecute the saints. That's how you persecute. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Jesus is through persecute, through persecute the right. That's right. Through persecuting God's ministry. That's how you persecute Jesus Christ. Amen. So it says, and Paul earnestly beholding the council. Said, men and brethren, I have lived in all good times. Otherwise, I live safe. I'm not condemned. I don't feel guilty. I don't feel bad about my stand for Jesus Christ. I don't feel bad about preaching the gospel. But Paul had this thing. You persecute me. as soon as another door come up, I'm going to preach. He never stopped. He never grew back. So therefore, he said, I have lived in all good times before God until this day. Up to now, I've lived a, with a good conscience, not a condemned conscience. And the high priest and I commanded them that, that stood by him to smite him on the mouth. Can you imagine that? Now he's testifying, give this testimony, and look at him right there. Wow! Right across the mouth. Now you've got to be saved real good, brother. You've got to be saved real good, sister. Say amen. Praise God. Amen. So sometimes a person say, say something, you just say something. You don't even touch it. You tell me, well, I, what's going on? I put my foot on them. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I kill them. But they, amen. Praise God. They smoke him. You know what? It wasn't just a little tap tap. Amen. The things people, people uh, uh, crying about, moaning and groaning about, and it backsliding on God, all that kind of stuff, is just little petty stuff. That's not little better stuff, little baby stuff. Pray God. Smart means to inflict a heavy blow on will or as if with the hand. A two over. A heavy blow. That means when it got too punch. The lips might be like mine before they hit the when we get in Small enough. All across you. Same. But did he retaliate? No, he didn't. He didn't try to fight him. Pray then said Paul unto him, the thing is got a, a smack in the mouth by having a blow, but now he's still gone. Then said Paul, some of them crying, some of them hard. Then said Paul unto him, God shall smack me. Over the battle is not mine. It's the Lord. God is my Say amen. Praise God. Thy amen. Quit wall, but sit it down to judge me after the law and command me to be smitten contrary to the law. Praise God. Amen. And they that stood by and said, Revive thy God, high priest. Amen. Praise God. 
other words, praise God, without any praise God. Corrupt, corrupt. Then it said, Paul, I wish not, brother, that he was a high priest, for it is written, Thou shalt not speak evil of the ruler of thy people. But when Paul perceived that the one part was Sadducee and the other Pharisee, they were all Jews, this little different collective group, he cried out in the council, Men and brethren, I am a Pharisee. He began to tell them who he is. The son of a Pharisee, of the hope and resurrection of the dead, I am called in question. And when, when he had so said, there arose a distinction, disturbance, between the Pharisee and the Sadducee, and the multitude was divided. For the Sadducee said that there is no resurrection, neither angel nor spirit, but the Pharisee can fed forth. So they were in, in disagreement themselves. But now, amen, Paul is saying, amen, Jesus is all in all. And they still in disagreement. And said, there arose a great crime, and the scribes that were of the Pharisees part arose and strove, saying, we find no evil in this man. See, God always have, have a witness for him. But if a spirit or an angel has spoken to him, let us not fight against God. You see, somebody must speak out. Somebody must speak out. And when there arose a great decision, the chief captain feared that Paul should have been poor in pieces of this. Torn him to peace. Let him, he would have been that way. But God protected him. You gotta understand the devil can't take you out. Not the hand of God, long as God said it's not over, it's not over. Pray, but you might be stuck and you might be going through, but it's not over. And I don't know about you, I'm not gonna give up. I'm not, I'm not gonna give up, I'm not gonna quit. Yes, we go through our suffering, yes, we go through our trust, but I'm not pulling away from God. Honey, I'm not losing my soul. Amen for nobody. Praise God. Amen. Paul should have been pulled in pieces of them, commanded the soldiers to go down and to take him by force from among them and to bring him into the town. And the night falls to the Lord. Look, 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 look. look. Praise God. Amen. Now, amen. They, they're trying to charge him. They're trying to accuse him. But look. And the night, following the Lord, stood by him and said, Be a good cheer. Call. For as thou hast testified of me in Jerusalem, so much thou bear with me also this moment. So what's he saying? Be a good cheer. It's not over, Paul. I'm telling you what, it's not over. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. And you spoke in Jerusalem, also you got to go back with me too long. It's not over. How many of you believe that you're not going anywhere to God with you? You believe that God's going to com- complete what he started in you? I believe. I believe. Y'all got to put your hand up if you believe. I believe it, but yes, I do firm and strong. I believe the devil can't take us out. The devil can't destroy God's church. The devil can't destroy the ministry. Praise God. Amen. God's going to have a people. Bless God. Amen. Praise God. It's not going to be over until he says it's over. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is God's in God's in control. Amen. Praise God. And when it was day, see, Jesus came at night and he spoke a word in the Paul's spirit. That said, be of good cheer, Paul. Yeah, they slapped me and lips might be small, but that's all right. Praise God. And it be of good cheer. Praise God. Amen. Some people say, do you hear what they say? Be of good cheer. Don't they say how I'm beat up, how I'm hurt? Be of good cheer. To hear a word from the Lord means more than anything else. Praise the Lord. And when it was day, certain of the Jews banded together and bound themselves under a curse. See how they yoked together. See how the devil would come together and fight against the righteous. Saying that they would neither eat nor drink till they had killed Paul. And did you see that? And see, we try to fast for the work of God. Some people say, no, no, I can't do it. We try to fast that God moves. And here these people are. And the wicked people say, we're not going to eat our drink. Pray God to the day that he will come. He's not going to see the truth. Pray God. And when you say that, they come to prayer house. He don't want to come. But here is the wicked. Pray God. They wanted to do it all just to get rid of wrong. But we're supposed to be, we, we need to stop saying this song. I'm coming to 